Hey everybody and welcome to our new video about problems to avoid when buying and using a cot. But before we begin, please do remember to click on that red subscribe button you see below this video and do turn on notifications so you stay updated with all our new videos. So let's start with the don'ts to keep in mind while buying a cot. Number one, no drop sliders. Drop sliders can pose a strangulation or a suffocation risk for your child, especially if they are easy to remove or slide down. Number two, no decorative cutouts on the headboard or the footboard of the cot as these can prick your child and also cause their clothes to get stuck in them. Number three, avoid any kind of excessive bedding, toys, bumpers in the cot until your baby has appropriate neck control. Some parents feel that the child may hurt himself if he's thrashing around in the cot and hence they start putting bumpers from the very beginning. But actually your child never really gains that much momentum to hurt himself. And also, if your slats in the cot are positioned at the correct distance, something that we covered in our previous video, then your child's limbs will not get stuck in them either. If you are buying a pre-loved cot, then please ensure that it has no splinters, that there are no missing parts, no screws are missing and no paint is chipped and it's in a good condition for your child. And coming to our last point, please do ensure that the cot is not next to any window or blinds or curtain, curtain rods or wiring as that is also a safety hazard for your child. Please do like, share and subscribe to our videos if you would like to hear more from us. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.